All right, so the first thing you want to do is go over to Polaroid 3D's website and get the files for Cura. So this is the this is for Mac, but this works for Windows as well. You may just have to go get the appropriate installation package for, for Windows. So we go here to download, and it will download the zip file. And within the zip file, you'll see that there's these dot material files as well as these different types of materials that are provided by Polaroid. So extract that somewhere on your workstation. Now once it's in here, you're going to go up to settings, you're going to go to printers, you're going to go to manage printers. And so I already have it unboarded, but if you didn't, you're going to come here and say add. You're going to go down here and say non-networked printers, and you're going to come down to custom, select custom FFF, put in the name, click add and then here you're going to put in your settings okay so once you're in here you're going to change these all to 120 you're going to go to the extruder tab and you're going to make sure this is 0.4 and that the material size is 1.75 go to next And then you're going to go to the Materials tab. So you're going to click Import, and you're going to import each of these materials. So I've already got them imported, but I'm, you're going to go through and import each one of those. And then you're going to go to Profiles, and you're going to do that same thing for each of the files that are in here. So the PETG, the PLA, and the PWOOD. So just come into here and import all three for each of these. That gives you your high, medium, and draft quality for each of your different material types. So PLA is the one that comes with it. And then if you get any of the other filaments from Polaroid, you can use those as well. And then once they're in there, you're all good to go. So what you'll have is you'll have your printer up here and you'll have the different types of material that you have. So if you come down to Polaroid, you'll see that there's Polaroid Universal. I've got the two PLAs imported. If you import the other ones, they'll be in there as well. And you'll just select that. It will automatically give you some recommended presets. So if I come into here and I click here, you'll see I got the recommendations. I can pick my infill, which tells how dense the print is, which takes longer, uses more filament, as well as the layer height, which a smaller layer height gives you more quality, but takes longer to print. And if you get too small, it can cause difficulties in the print overall. But uh, normally, you're going to either use one, two, or three. If you get too big, um, the printer seems to have issues. But And then if you want to use supports, which will build up areas around the overhangs on the on the prints or if you want to use adhesion so this guy lets me build that either that uh, skirt around it or the raft or the berm so or the brim so if I come here and I click custom you'll see that I normally do a raft and uh, I do a five 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 extra margin so it doesn't build a huge raft by default and in here I can also change things like my temperature and my build plate temperature uh, if I want to customize even more granularly from the from the out-of-the-box settings. So you got to be careful with some of these because you can really mess up your print quality, but uh, those are how you go in there and adjust that. Once you have everything adjusted, come in to open file, pick the file that you want to do. In this case, it's a mask nose clip I've got. I can move this around if I need to. If I want to arrange it, I can add multiple pieces to it. I can you know, do multiple pieces at the same time if I need to. You can come over here and customize the scale and size and all of that stuff. Usually if you download a print from uh, Thingiverse, it'll tell you that you need to use a certain orientation. Uh, if you need supports or not, if it needs, um, if it needs bed adhesion or not, all of that stuff is usually either in the body of the Thingiverse item or in the comments if you look at other people that have printed things. If I come here to click some click slice, 
it'll go through and slice it. Now I can come in here and pretty cool, I can click preview and see how it's gonna print that so I can get an idea of if I've done my configurations correctly. It gives me an estimated print time and I can click save to file. It gives me where I wanna save it to. Now this would be your S this would be either your SD card or USB drive that you're gonna plug back into the printer. And when you click save, it saves it and you take the USB drive out, plug it into your computer or plug it into your printer go into your app and say file, USB or SD card, pick the file, and there you have it, it goes to print.